All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, if you ever wanted to know what each GPU produces in profit and revenue and profit per day and on which coins, this is a site for you. Most people in mining know about this site, but it's called whattomine.com. And you can go to GPUs and you'll get a list of all the GPUs and the top performers in, uh, in that order, GPU profitability ranking. So here you have the NVIDIA and AMD cards. And then for each card, you are given the hash rate. And of course, these are approximates, right? Given the approximate hash rate and the power consumed based on the algorithm you're going to mine. So for those of you looking to get into mining or new to mining, like I was a couple months ago, this site is gold. One reason is it kind of gives you an idea, well, what do I want to mine? What's profitable? And based on the power consumption of that card and that algorithm, how much power do I need? Do I need to buy this many power supplies? Should I buy an HP uh, power supply? Should my ATX power supply be 1,000 watts, or 1,200, whatever, 750? It helps you also scale out the rig you're going to build. But in today's GPU shortage market, if you will, hard to find GPUs at a decent price and GPUs at all. So if you know you can only get 3080 Ti's, then you know you're going to be burning 280 watts per card. And uh, yeah, and then go for there. So you can go through and you'll see the best coin to mine for that card. And it gives you the order. Most, mostly right now, it's Ethash is still one of the best mined coins out there until it becomes POS, proof of stake at which time you will no longer be able to GPU mine that coin. The top profitability ones are very expensive. 3090s are expensive, over 2000 bucks. At this point, you're going to mine ETH hash. You're never going to get your money back. There's not enough time. And then, of course, the market's in a correction mode right now. We're down to about 2400 per ETH. So you're not going to get your ROI. So the best recommendation, if you can is to wait for the maybe the market to drop a bit and then go after smaller cards. Go after, let's see, 6600 XTs, AMD, um, NVIDIA 1660 Supers. I'm still way up here. Any of the 2.0 series, 20 series um, of NVIDIAs are good if you can find them. Go on eBay. But again, people are still asking a lot of money for these cards, so buyer beware. Uh, let's see, 2060, 2070s are not bad. You can see what you can get on ETHash and ETC. ETC may be an up-and-comer once ETHash goes to proof of stake. People may switch to ETC. Not sure yet. I don't think anybody really knows which way it's going to go. But anyway, that's something to keep in mind. If anything, this site's a great kind of barometer of the way things are, what's trending, and like I said, which cards work best for which coin. But if you have a 37 LHR, 3070 LHR, you can slap it on ton coin and make a buck 23 a day. But this is a great site to figure that out. So again, this is for guys looking to get in the market, get an idea of what they can make, uh, what does each card do, and how much power does it draw. So here's the 6600 XT. I have a bunch of these. They, uh, they are nice and efficient. And I'm getting about uh, 3250 is correct. And I'm, my power on ETHash is about really 60 watts. So here it's mining ETHash and then TonCoin. So something to look into. Now let's go down 6600 is mining a little bit less. And it's a 28 and it's uh, probably, probably maybe the same thing, 60 watt power. How much difference is that? It's see, it's 94, not much. You know, what is 11 cents difference? So you got to go and go on Newegg or Amazon and say, what can I get a 6600 XT for? If you can get it under 550 bucks now, I think you're doing okay. Will you ROI it on ETHash? Most likely not. But again, it's an efficient card. And then the lower power you're consuming, the better. You know, especially in a bear market. You don't be paying out all your money in electricity costs when you're not really making that many coin. So I would not... I would stay away from the upper cards like the 3090s, anything in the 30 series, maybe a 3060 Ti, maybe if you can get a decent price for it. Uh, don't be afraid of used cards. 
uh, used car uh, cards, <laughs> cars. Uh, don't be afraid to use cards. Uh, make sure you're buying them from a kind of a reputable source because once you get it, you may get a brick or it may not be what you expected. I heard some people are getting uh, 3080s and they think they're non-LHR and they end up being LHR. And it's like, well, buyer beware. So be cautious of that. Some of the other cards to look at maybe getting for guys getting into mining and you don't want to go uh, go too, uh, too committed with price and go with too in debt or put a lot of money into this is if you can get the 580s, there's eight gigabytes. I think there's also some four gigabyte 570s right here. You can start mining. And you're going to get, um, you can mine different coins like Auto Lycos, and that's Erg, Ergo, and that's uh, 36 cents. Once uh, ETH goes away, you might be able to jump and get on some of that ETC with that card. And again, these cards aren't too expensive. You have to look around. All right, that's all I got. I mean, you can check out this site, look at each card. It's a great way to get started. And even just to keep yourself updated for the experience, guys out there they know about this site pretty well but guys looking to start mining they always ask me how much does that card make a day and i say well it depends which coin and what's the current price of that coin and now you can go over here and you can check it out yourself and answer your own question you know there you go all right i hope this helps you guys great how to and how to just find out what what it costs what's the profitability in um gpu mining and uh, the coins to look at. All right. I hope this helps. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up and I will talk to you later, guys. Good luck. Good luck in mining.